Hello everyone, I'm Maurice Jones, Chapel Hill Town Manager, and I'm here today with Lance Norris, the town's Director of Public Works, and Brian Litchfield, our Director of Chapel Hill Transit, to discuss how the service that their departments offer have changed during the COVID-19 pandemic, and how we all can help to keep their employees safe during these difficult times. Uh, transit is a major service here in Chapel Hill and Carborough, providing 7 million trips a year to help people with uh, educational opportunities, medical care, work, and other essential services like uh, grocery stores. Um, we made a decision a few weeks ago to reduce our service significantly to respond to a drop in the need we have here in our community. Brian, um, who is joining us from a Chapel Hill bus, uh, can you walk us through the decision-making process for reducing service? Sure. Making the decision to reduce transit service was a very difficult but necessary decision, not only to protect our customers, uh, but also to uh, protect our team members. Uh, we work really closely with our uh, partners, uh, which include uh, the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill uh, and the town of Carborough to come to a quick decision uh, where we're able to continue to uh, provide access to essential services. And uh, we ask that the uh, folks that uh, do need to travel, make sure it is uh, for essential trips only. And uh, if you are, please wear a, a mask or a cloth covering uh, over your face. Uh, we also uh, at, did this decision to reduce the number of people coming in and out of uh, our facility, uh, reduce the number of buses that we need on a daily basis, uh, which allows us to uh, clean and sanitize uh, buses more frequently and allows us to put uh, additional protective measures in place to protect uh, not only our team members, but also our customers. Uh, we certainly look forward to the day when we see all of our customers uh, back on the bus again, uh, but we're thankful that our community has taken this pandemic seriously and uh, thankful to our community partners for enabling so many people to work uh, from home in alternative ways. And Brian, you mentioned protecting our employees. Tell us a little bit about what we've done to, to help keep our employees safe who are providing that service right now. Sure, that's the, the our first concern is uh, the safety of our team members, especially the operators that are out uh, providing the services and uh, the folks that are helping uh, clean and uh, fuel buses. So uh, we've done, uh, provided, done everything from providing uh, mask and gloves and hand sanitizer to uh, increasing uh, the number of times that uh, we sanitize vehicles. Uh, we've also uh, made some changes to our buses uh, where uh, we've uh, installed some uh, plastic curtains uh, between uh, where the customers sit uh, and uh, the operator sits to help uh, provide some protection. And then we're asking all customers that are boarding the bus to board uh, from the rear door uh, to kind of to encourage uh, the physical separation between uh, the operator and the customer again. Uh, if there's a, a customer with a mobility uh, need or challenge, they're certainly welcome to use uh, the front door, but uh, all customers that are able, we ask them to use the rear door at this time. Thank you, Brian. On the public works side, many of our services do continue, are continuing right now, but the most visible to the public is probably trash removal. It truly is an essential service. And Lance, what have we done to ensure that we could continue this service while protecting our employees? Thank you, Maurice. Um, focusing on our on protecting our, our workers to continue to provide this service, that also protects our community. We've asked our employees to wear the proper PPE, uh, practice physical distancing, and also monitor their health symptoms. Um, you can also help us, the community can also help us with this. If they would wash their hands before and after rolling um, out their carts, wipe down the handles of the roll carts with hand, hand sanitizer, that would also be very helpful. Lance, we made the decision that weekly yard waste and bulky item collections can wait for now. We wanna thank our community for understanding that. Um, can you tell us why we made that decision uh, to help it protect our employees? Well, we appreciate the community understanding this change. We'll be back to picking up uh, these items uh, when it's all over. Um, we continue our paid uh, yard waste dumpster rentals and knuckle boom pile collections because these operations only require one operator, which allows for proper social distancing. You can contact Public Works Department um, to schedule these services. Lance and Brian, thanks for your service and for the service of your employees during this time of crisis in our community. Thank you. And thank you to the residents of Chapel Hill for your support and for all that you are doing to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Physical distancing is working. We are not in the clear just yet. We must remain diligent 
and protecting our neighbors and our friends and our family uh, during this time. Thank you for all that you've done so far. Um, and we look forward to continuing to work together to beat this virus together. So take care for now and be safe. <laughs>